So this is one of my, actually, weirdly enough, it's one of my favourite poems to perform because um, it's a bit of a mess. Um, but I kind of stopped performing it because I I got a lot of like really positive, kind heckling, but like in the way that I'd kind of made people worried and I got a bit got a bit anxious about it. And then I had a couple of comments where people are like, I think it'd be better as two poems. And I, I couldn't be bothered. So I just stopped. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this one's called Line, and uh, I normally read it, even if I, I used to know it off by heart, but normally I read it um, because of said kind hecklers. It worries me that I can't remember the words that spring from my head fully formed, flying from my mouth like scatty birds, and... Line... Sorry. Hold up, I've forgotten it. Sorry, sorry, just um, just give me a minute. Flying from my mouth like birds and no, on. On stuttering wings like bits of torn up linguistic broken things full of loose grammar and hodgepodge mess. Most times it don't come out right, but I'm trying my best. With shaking hands and a frozen tongue. It's funny how it's when you most want to speak is when you get struck dumb. I wish I could press control plus Z on this conversation between you and me. But there's no undo in reality. Just a stilted kind of solidarity, the patience when words don't come out right, giving another chance, a second try, but... <sighs> Line... Another chance, a second try, another go, to make it better because we know we make mistakes when we're afraid of hurting each other and accidentally throwing shade where we meant to cast light. Turning a simple statement into a fight, a fright, a blight, a... L line... A blight, a fright, uh, a night where we love and learn to take a pause. A break to breathe and space. Take a slower pace. Let each other try again. Because for what is our love standing, if not understanding? Hey, thank you. So yeah, you can probably see why I tend to read it these days, because um, I get my acting head on and then everything goes wrong. But yeah, I'm actually quite fond of that poem. I I think as someone who loses my words a lot because autism, um, I don't know why I'm doing the fuck you symbol. That's not intentional. Um, sorry, any anyone who speaks sign language. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, I, I like the concept of a poem that's about forgetting your lines, regardless of if it's during performance or in emotional conversations, because I forget my words in conversation a lot more than I forget them on stage. And it's a lot worse than when I have forgotten them on stage. <laughs> anyway, enough about my life. Farewell, friends. <laughs>